Hey everyone, welcome back to Zooplosion. This is the last week of our series, and this week we are learning that God provides a plan for our future. So let's get to the motion. God provides a plan for our future. One more time. God provides a plan for our future. See, God desires that we have a good future, that we have a good life ahead of us. In Jeremiah 29, 11, which is our scripture passage for today, it reads these words. I know the plans I have for you, announces the Lord. I want you to enjoy success. I do not plan to harm you. I will give you hope for the years to come. You see, God wants us to have a good future. God wants good things for us. And we can see that God has a plan all the way we can go all the way back to the Garden of Eden where God announced that Satan was going to have his head crushed by an offspring of Eve. And we know that is Jesus. But God knew that things were going to be really difficult between that time, between the Garden of Eden and when Jesus would come. And we see all of that happen with the time of Noah. People just did anything they wanted to. And that made God really sad because there was a lot of sin and God doesn't like sin. And so God told Noah that he was going to uh, have a flood come upon the earth and he was going to wipe out every living thing except for Noah, his family, and all the animals that he brought on the ark with him. And God did save Noah and his family. And we can see that throughout scripture, God saves a portion of his people for greater things. And we can see ultimately that God had a plan that led all the way from the Old Testament, from the very beginning of the Garden of Eden, all the way to Jesus. That is a plan that won't fail because Jesus was the ultimate sacrifice for you and for me and allows us to have the right relationship with God. So what I want you to do this week is I want you to think about what kind of plans do you have? Do you have plans for this next week? Do you have plans for vacation coming up? What kind of plans do you have? And I want you to give those plans to God. I want you to tell God about those plans and see what kind of plans God might have for you in your future. Well, that's all I have for you guys this week. I catch you guys next time for the next series.